Hey, so I just got finished listening to Dark Skin Women Empowerment's video where she was talking about infiltrators within the divested and swirl communities. And she made a lot of very good points and it's something that we should all take heed to because there is a troll and I'm looking at his channel right now and one week ago. The same four minute, it's almost five minute, but the same clip that is on his channel ended up with Atlanta Black Star. And then once he saw that the video was going viral, like three or four days later, he posted her entire live stream. Her entire live stream on his channel. And you have to understand something, that was an intimidation tactic, because I'm going to tell you why. From what I've heard people say, if you file a copyright complaint on YouTube, the person that is receiving that complaint gets whatever information you have to provide. So if you have to provide an email address or whatever, that person that you're filing the complaint on now has that information. So a lot of times people, like when they're posting your entire two-hour live stream, they do it knowing that a lot of times people aren't going to file a copyright complaint because they're not going to want that other person to be able to contact them. So not only did he steal her entire live stream, not only did he steal her content in the 4 minute and 59 second video clip that he posted from her live stream. But then he attempted, in my opinion, to publicly shame her because my question is, how did that clip, and it's, it's your clip, the same one that's on your channel, how did that end up with Atlanta Black Star and what was your intent? The intent is to intimidate. And ladies, Understand that I get that there are some people who had past experiences um, where they have not been happy about something that has gone on in a divested or BWE space. Maybe you've been concerned about, you know, an interaction you've had with people um, behind the scenes or on YouTube or maybe something that occurred in a class. And we all have freedom of speech, so we all have the right to express our concerns. What I'm talking about is this, ladies. So you have to be really careful about people who use their personal grievances as a reason to try to burn the entire house down. Right? Instead of resolving the issue that they have with the one or two individuals that they have the issue with or instead of being mature enough to say okay I may disagree with something that happened and just going their separate ways you have people you have you have some women in this space who say they took a class five years ago or you know they were on a conference call two years ago or whatever they want to use their personal grievances as a reason to burn the entire house down and at this particular point i'm not convinced that the troll that posted crystal's video was working alone I'm simply not convinced of that because I'm wondering who does he know at this organization where they would have paid attention to uh, to him enough to post to post this video to make it go viral. And now that the general public and the media knows that this type of content exists they're going to be watching us. Now, they're not watching all of the anti-black woman videos. They're watching us, and we're a pretty small community. 
So ladies, please, let's all make sure that we do whatever we can to, to keep ourselves safe. And let's also make sure that we get to the point where we don't allow our personal disagreements to burn the whole house down. You know what I'm saying? We got to get past that point. Anyway, have a great weekend. Um, if you have not seen the video that Dark Skin Women Empowerment posted, please go to her channel and watch her video about infiltrators in the space. And I will talk to you guys soon.